So, welcome guys to Stories with Jagina. And uh, there was this, I remember it was around 2019, I was working at the same time as I was studying. But the reason that's why I had to work as I was studying is because at the end of the day I, I needed to survive, but also I needed to earn a living to enable me afford those basics that I needed while I was studying. There came a time when I felt studying wasn't making sense to me. There came a time when even the filmmaking work wasn't making sense to me. And, and I remember I had to go to my uncle who was really supporting my education during that time. And I told him, I think the course I'm doing and whatever I was doing was a wrong choice. And I think I needed to start afresh. And I remember the, how he looked at me that day. He didn't even say anything. He just walked out of office and he didn't say anything to me that day. So, you know, as we are growing up, you, you have that ego. You know what you're doing is, is the best option that you're taking for your life. So I decided to go back home and that day I didn't, I didn't even attend classes. But as I was home, so many things were running in my mind, how I had wasted all these finances, how I had wasted all this time. So it was, it was total confusion because one, I was giving up on education, which my family and uh, and all the people around me believed in, but also I was giving up on the career that I had invested so much time into because at the end of the day, it was not paying, I was not getting the money I wanted. And yet there were so many people who were earning more than the way I was earning and I felt I had better skills than them. Four years down the road, looking at that moment, I've realized there are times when you feel whatever you're doing is no longer making sense. There are times that you feel whatever you dedicated, you have dedicated your life to no longer makes sense and you need to take a break, you need to leave it. But one of the things I've realized that can help you get through that situation because it is a very hard time that is the point where some people even commit suicide and that is the point when some people decide to give up and that moment at times ruins all the great dreams that you're achieving. And one of the things that helped me overcome that situation was the fact that I had to look at where I started from. Like I said, I had dedicated so much time to becoming a young filmmaker that I was during that time, but also I had dedicated so much time into school. I had to, I had to go to nursery, primary, and then secondary school, O level and A level, and I was letting all those times down, plus all the finances that had been invested in me. One of the things that I feel is very important that you need to do when you get into such situations that you feel you're demotivated, that you feel so low in, in whatever career you're doing, is you need to look at the things that bring joy to you, however small they might be. It might be that new phone that you bought two years ago, but the money you used to buy that phone was from that career that right now feels useless. The fact that right now you can speak good English, the fact that right now you can speak that language that you speak, but you have learned it from school, but you have learned it from the society you live in, you need to look at those small things. And trust me, trust you, if you look at what you went through to achieve those things, you will overcome these hard times. One of the books that I'm reading that, that has taught me to be very grateful and the act of gratitude is the power of positive thinking by Norman Vincent. So in one of the chapters he talks about one of his friends who approached him and he told him how his life was totally shuttered down and he had nothing left. And 
And one of the things he asked him is, can we talk about your life as, you, as I note down some of the things that I believe you still have? And this guy told him, no, I feel I have lost everything. So he asked him the following questions. Do you still have a family? And he said, yes, I have a family that loves me. And he wrote it down. Do you still have children? And this guy responded to him that, yes, I, I still have my children. And today as I was leaving home, they told me how much they love me. And he noted down children that love you. And then he asked him, do you still have friends? Do you have friends? And he said, yes, I have good friends that are even willing to help me through this situation, but I feel it is too big for me to overcome it. And he said, okay, you have good friends that are willing to help you through this situation. And then he asked him another question, do you live in America? And the guy responded, yes, I live in America. Do you believe America is the country of dreams, where dreams come true. And the guy responded, yes, and I don't think of living in any other country where my dreams come true. And at the end of the conversation, he had a list of things this guy was supposed to look at and be grateful for. And he read all these things to him. And at the end of the list, the person who was totally demotivated, the person who had lost hope in his life, responded that I believe now I can start over again and so here I am telling you that no matter what you're going through today I believe you can start over again because those small things that you have achieved in your life those small things that you have earned while doing that job that you feel is useless all will not push you to your dreams, I feel you can start over with that job and there is a bright future for you. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Pius Jagenda and this is Stories with Jagenda. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like you can see, we are now in a new space and this video is sponsored by Ivy Lynch. They have provided me with this space, but also I'm going to link their socials and website in the description below if you feel you have any branding work production you'd like to do adverts i village is the best option for you and see you guys in the next video peace